Hello everyone, Zcor here and welcome to another annual medic video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a very very special gun. Um, as you saw there, it's it's going to be quite a ride, so uh, buckle up, um, make sure to fasten your seatbelts because this is quite a gun and you're, you're going to see why, why during this gameplay and, and as I explained. But anyways, of course I'm talking about the US-12. I don't like to call it USAS-12, it's, it's pretty weird to me, like, after you change the guns, the gun names to the real ones, I still stuck with, I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to stick with most of the old ones, especially for this gun, I think US-12 sounds like pretty damn uh, nice, at least compared to USAS-12, I think that sounds a little weird, maybe just because I know US-12 already, um, but anyways, we're going to start with the looks of the weapon, of course, as always, um, this, this shotgun is fucking huge, as you can see it takes up like half the map, um, and, um, not only, not only is it huge and it's like, it's probably like half your body size as if you take a look at a player, um, but also it, it sounds so impactful and, and like strong, it's like, when you shoot at it, it sounds like there's fucking a tank chasing you or some shit, like, the sound is super like scary and impactful, but, um, as they say, you can't judge a book by its cover because, uh, as you'll see in the gameplay, uh, various times, um, the, the sound doesn't hold a candle to, I mean, the, the actual performance of the gun holds not, does not hold a candle to the, to the sound that the gun produces. Um, so if I just put the, the stats on the screen right now for you guys to follow along with, um, I have it in front of me so I can compare with some other shotguns, um, uh, spoiler alert, it's it's very bad. It's it's very bad shotgun. It does not do well. You'll see at several times in the video where um, people don't die even when I hit them at point blank range. And uh, the thing is like in this video and, and while using the shotgun, I tried my hardest to, to not only focus but also like try to aim down sight as often as possible. Which if some of you guys might know from like, uh, might know me for a longer time, you would know that I absolutely... Like, that's not my playstyle with shotguns. When I, I'm using shotguns, I... At least it's my pre... At the very least, it's my preference to not ADS. But if a shotgun um, can allow me to not the ADS, I, there's no way I'm going to aim down sight with it. So with this shotgun, that w with this shotgun it's so bad that, that that's basically impossible to do. And I had to try my hardest to aim down sight for every single encounter that I had. If I was hoping to land even the the slightest amount of uh, damage on 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 an enemy, um, and people still tanked even even if you aim down sight like twenty four seven, you take martial arts classes to master aiming down sight and and aiming with with a shotgun, you're still gonna see that you're gonna tank. People are gonna tank this very very often, and I'm gonna get into the stats here, which might make it more clear why that happens. So if we start off the damage is six fifty. RPM is pretty damn high, um, at least compared to these other, one, these other shotguns that I have in front of me right now, which I'll go through in a bit. The range is very low, as you'd expect from uh, the gameplay you've been seeing so far, probably. Uh, the minimum damage is actually pretty high, so that's decent, but it doesn't make up for all the other things it loses in. Um, and it has also a very large magazine, 20, uh, 20 bullets, and... Um, I was gonna say like if this gun is this gun was uh, a good shotgun I could have said like oh you're never gonna have to reload and you're gonna be killing people like left and right and then I could have, like talked about its reload and its downsides or, or upsides but this shotgun is so bad that if you use it in a in a game mode like FFA you're never gonna reload not because uh, not because you're gonna be you have a lot of ammo and you won't need them and you can just kill people left and right but because you're gonna die before you even get kills, so you're not, not even gonna have to. Sp you're not even gonna have spent the ammo to have to reload. Uh, but I'll get to the reload. I'll actually get to the reload later, um, so you understand. Uh, so you see what how that's like. But the other thing that's not good about it is um, uh, the reload duration, which uh, you'll see at some point in the gameplay. I think I only reloaded it once throughout throughout the whole game. Um, 
And again, the reason I just explained is because I would die very, very often and very soon. And I would not have a chance to even spend all my bullets. Um, it has a pierce ability of 7 compared to 12 for some other shotguns. Um, but I don't know how, how important that is. But another thing that's very important is the hit multipliers. Um, it's 1.2 and 1 and 1 for the head and body respectively. But it, it, it loses um, its edge when it comes to arms and legs with 0.8 and 0.7 for arms and legs respectively. So if we compare to other shotguns, um, the Caltech, the new sniper shotgun that we got that has six, uh, 680 damage, so 30 more. It has one and a half more range. Uh, less minimum damage, but it makes up for it in um, other stats, pretty much. So it has a 0.9 uh, multiplier for arms and legs, same multiplier for head and body, but that increased damage and increased uh, range and multipliers is quite enough to make up for it. Same thing, approximately the same thing for Boost Con and Max 7. They have higher damage, um, more range sorry and better multipliers but most of them have uh nowhere near as many uh bullets in the magazine and uh not as much rpm but still this shotgun very easily pales in comparison to the other ones as you've probably seen in the gameplay so far because of its performance so um this so you see this this gun if well the per the main sort of one of the reasons Maybe even like the main purpose of making this video is to um, give you guys a glimpse of this gun before you try to get it for the, uh, as part of the, uh, what's it called, that event, Top Gun event. Um, so if you couldn't tell what I'm going to recommend, it's no, stay, stay the fuck away from this shotgun. The only reason I got this is because it's a really nostalgic for me. It's, um, it used to be the best shotgun back in the day. So one nostalgia and two because um, I just didn't want or had the other guns already. So that's the only reason I got this. Um, but unfortunately, even though this gun used to be, this used to be the very first meta shotgun. It used, I don't know if anybody else uh, said this or if it's me who made it up and only me who used it, but I used to call this gun the king of triples because as soon as anybody pulled this gun out, you would see them getting triples left and right in TDM or FFA or any game mode it was. Um, it, it was the very best shotgun and it, it, it would just decimate people. Um, but as you can see, it's it's falling quite far low um, and now you, you can barely even get one kill with it after shooting like five times. Um, so it's definitely nowhere near what it used to be and i would definitely recommend you stay away from it and uh opt in for for the sniper rifle and the the rifle uh during this top gun events they're they're gonna be much much more reliable and and actually usable compared to this shotgun which is just this is just like a collector's item basically um it used to be the best shotgun so it's very sad that Worthy somehow decided to nerf the shit out of it and completely leave it in the dust and uh, leave it out in like uh, you you get some crazy shots here and there and I got one on my stream too I got one in this video too I think if the time isn't off um, cause I'm running the video at the same time it should have happened like a few seconds ago but besides those like few impressive shots that's gonna make you laugh there's nothing good about this gun and it's very sad because like I don't see why they would do this like it's not like everybody has the same preferences same tastes and uh people are not gonna get uh get, buy uh, an older shotgun because there's a new one that's just as powerful you know you could keep this shotgun strong and people are still gonna buy a new one that's also strong you know i don't see why they have to absolutely i mean i understand the logic behind it but i think it's a very very bad for the game in in, in long term like it's a very unhealthy system for the game and its survivability um, and I don't think this is something that they should be doing and I think they should like move to a new system but anyways uh, as I said terrible gun <laughs> but um, and, and it makes me sad to say that but still ev even though it's horrible and horse shit it's still a little fun to play with I'm not gonna lie 
just because of like the sound, how massive it is. Oh, there I was reloading again. The reload takes like uh, five years approximately. So you definitely want to take cover if you're going to reload because it's not going to um, end anytime soon if you start. But as you see there, even though I was so focused and tryharded pretty hard and in that's not idle time all the time, it barely took me anywhere. And so, yeah. That's to back up the, the my, my recommendation that in the end, please, uh, I recommend you stay away from the shotgun and go for anything else. But anyways, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.